feeling all the support, standing on one leg and feeling like I'm drawing up through the arch, in through the hip and then face the ball and straight leg half raise coming up and down. I've got my big toe in contact. So I'm watching that I'm not rocking out to the outside of the foot. I'm going to take about six to eight reps here. Then from there, I'm taking a bend in the knee and I'm coming up and down. Again, pressing through that big toe, watching I'm not locking the foot at the top. Again, I'm going to work six to eight reps. And then on that last rep, I'm going to hold the heel off the floor. I'm taking a fire hydrant out to the side. Again, watching that I'm not hitching through the hip, so keep the body nice and long. And then from there, I can send that into donkey kick behind and keep the pelvis nice and still. Try not to arch through the lower back, but all the while, that heel is on the floor. And then from there, I can repeat that on the other side. Next exercises that we'll be looking at is first position. So here, the heels are coming together, the feet are turning apart. Rather than locking back into the knees, I want to feel like I'm wrapping round through the thighs. So clockwise through the right and clockwise through the left. And then visualising like I'm lifting up through the arch, so it should be nice and active through the hips. So either holding from there, or that's then where we can work up onto the toes. Keeping that wrap through the hips, pressing those heels versus the knees back. So again, keep that little bit of softness in the knees that I'm drawing up through the thighs and a nice squeeze from here. That works quite well if you want to take that into a plie, so then a bit more like a clam based exercise. So now I'm pressing the knees again, clockwise, anti-clockwise versus coming forwards. And the tailbone is just softening down towards the floor and I'm lifting through the arch so I'm nice and active in the hips and on that inner thigh, still squeezing those heels together. Then the last one is coming into parallel. This is where it works quite nice with something between the ankles, so if you wanted a towel or a ball in place. And then again, just coming up and down. So if you've got something between the ankles, that'll help to keep that big toe in contact. But if you wanted to, you can take that into foot series. So from here, I can come up. I can then bend the knees with the heels lifted, lower the heels and release. So what that looks like from the side, I'm coming up, bend, heels, release. And again, I could do that with something between the ankles. And this is just a nice way of combining all of those moves together. And then I can reverse it. Squat, heels, lift, lower. Squat, heels, lift, and lower. And so here, even though I'm double, I'm moving through the range in a really nice warm-up through the ankles. 